Alright, so this is sine law. Now for this question, they've given us angle F, which is 38 degrees, side F, which is 46 centimeters, side G, which is 53 centimeters, and they've asked us to find the angle G. So we start off by writing out our sine formula. As we know, it can either be the sine of F over side F equals angle G, sine of angle G, sorry, was a six, over side G, which is 53. You can put the sides, side lengths on top too. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Hold on, that doesn't look good there. Sine G. Okay, so now we cross multiply. So we move that across there. And that across there, so then that becomes 53 times sine 38 degrees equals 46 multiplied by sine 46 multiplied by sine g. Now we have to multiply 53 by sine 38, which gets us, if you put that into your calculator, 32 point 63 is equal to 46 times sine g. Now we're trying to isolate for sine g, so the next step would be divide both sides by 46. And the ants, and when you divide 32.63 by 46, you will get 0 0.70534. Is equal to sine g. Now it does seem like a lot of decimals, but the more that you keep in, the more accurate your answer will be. So it's always better to keep that in. And finally, when we plug it into sine to the power of negative one, sine inverse 0 0.705349, you will get 45.18 equals g. So that would be in degrees and that is sine law.